Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't gone all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. My Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Ugh. Okay. 
again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland.
Hey, you there! What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy, taking his dog for a piss, found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, it must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jane. Come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Barry comment. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion.
there's a good chance that they'll kill us. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. And maybe the killer's car. Coming. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Harry, come in. Pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. Back to the office. Stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too.
Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. I think I've seen all there is to see.